Man wants to put his effort towards something, but every time man puts his effort towards something, he ruins it, amen? And it's God it doesn't want us to put our effort towards something. He wants us to surrender to something, and it was his will. Now, now don't, don't get me wrong. It's not like we don't have any effort. We do the word of God. We sacrifice. We give up. We, we obey. We do what he called us to do. But at the end of the day, what can you do, amen? What, what work are you able to work? What thing what can you do? What power do you have? What will your little hands and your little body, what will it do? Amen. Nothing but surrender to the will of God. It's the will of God that will bring the victory. Remember, Jesus is our example. He goes to win the battle. He goes to bring victory. He goes to release us from bondage. He goes to, to, to break the power of the enemy by hybridization. He goes to shed his precious blood, amen, as a perfect slain lamb to free us from the curse. And there's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can add to it. There's no effort he can put into it. He just has to completely surrender. And let God do what God already ordained that God would do. He wouldn't even speak at his trial. You think of the wisdom of Solomon, but he said a greater than Solomon is here. The wisest of the wisest was standing there on trial. Amen. And the trial was a dog and pony show. And it was an absolute ridiculous trial. And do you think that Jesus with a few phrases couldn't have unraveled the whole thing? He couldn't have made Pilate ashamed of himself. He couldn't have made Caiaphas and the high priest tuck their tails and those who were speaking against him run away and hide with just a few phrases. He could have discerned the whole thing. He had more wisdom than Solomon had. Amen. A greater than Solomon was standing on trial. Trial. Amen. And it wasn't his wisdom that was going to win the day. It wasn't words. It wasn't discernment. It wasn't anything that was going to win the victory. He had to close his mouth and completely surrender and let God do it. Amen. This was God's victory. Amen. This was God's doing. Amen. But God couldn't do it without a human being. God has so set his plan that he doesn't do anything without you and I. He needs a man to work through. Amen. But he didn't need this man to do anything. He needed this man to say, thy will be done, not mine. That's the kind of man he needed for the greatest victory, amen, for the, for the destruction of Satan, for the overcoming, amen, of the fall. He needed a man that wouldn't put his own effort into it, amen, when he wouldn't use his own mind, that wouldn't even use his gifts. For the greatest victory, he needed a man that will stand and be quiet and surrender and let God have his way.